Hey, I'm Chris with Mobility Solutions, AffordableMedicalUSA.com, and I have the GoGo -Go Sport, which is one of the most popular mobility scooters in the GoGo -Go family. It's got larger tires at the front, so this is going to be a good unit that's not overly, it's, it's portable, but you're going to be able to use this at parks and stuff. You can with all the GoGo's, but this one's going to be the best. It also has the 325 pound weight capacity, and it's going to come with the larger batteries. This will give you extended range. So going over this, um, comes in blue or red, can drop ship right to you. Um, you're gonna see the tiller has the wrap around just like everything else. You can remove these and put your mirrors right into this. Um, this turns it on, here's your battery indicator, here's your speed control, here's your key, here's your horn. Um, this is forward back or you can use one hand to operate it and you can also charge the unit through here along with charging the unit through the battery pack um, over here you're going to find your light switch for your front light so down below those are easy convenient fuses if you need them um, large basket on this unit you got to pull push that to pull it off with a handle there's that light I was flicking on and off. So again, this also comes in three wheel. This is the four wheel version. There's your swivel seat that you can move around. So if you wanted to go fishing or if you're at a show or whatever it is, you can move it to get in and out of it. Back here, you're gonna find your chart pocket and your accessory port for your oxygen holder, basket, whatever. This will allow you to adjust the arms or take them completely off. And this is your free will. So with it turned off, you can put it in free will to move it. And then you just have reflectors here at the back, your anti-tippers. Um, here's your motor. The, the specs will be sometimes at your drivetrain. You can see the motor is kind of low to the ground, but this thing does very well. I'm not going to say it's going to be extremely amazing in your yard if you're using it all the time we have much larger scooters for that but this one's going to be a great scooter that you can take places and and really feel confident in going places so we're going to show you how it comes apart and bring josh in real quick josh is new with us he's going to take the seat off we already removed the ba basket so the seat comes right off we'll put that down The battery pack will come right up. Now this battery pack is going to be a little bit heavier. It's about 30 pounds. See how it pops? That pops fine. It's just keeping this connected. One thing I didn't point out, most all units you get, you're going to have adjustable seat. This one, how GoGo -Go does it, they make it where the pin can come out and be removed and then you can adjust the seat or you can store it better with this out. So adjustable seat height um, very quickly. You don't have to use any tools to do this. All right, next thing we do is we're gonna lower the tiller down. So you can see he's gonna loosen it far enough to where the teeth don't grind, but not, it's not too far to where it comes apart. So just loose it down, you'll walk it down, and then we'll tighten it back up. From here, this is gonna move on you. And you see how that came up? Make sure you get that teeth in those grooves. Tighten that tiller, turn, push and turn. This will keep this from moving left to right if you're picking it up. Now with this unit, you can use leverage. You can pick up the front end, if, especially if you have a minivan, a low car, um, and you can slide it right into the car. Now this is gonna be a little bit heavier than the other Go-Go's because the motor's larger. But we're gonna show you how it disassembles. So just from the front to back. There you go. Now we're gonna put this back together, you're gonna to need to pick up about, well, this is a lot lighter than like a Revo and stuff. This is why you might wanna go with this unit. If you're looking for something, you need a little bit more weight capacity, you need something with a little bit bigger tires, um, but you don't want something way too heavy. So this is about 40 pounds. So make sure you can pick up about 40 pounds. Now, let's put that back together really quick. Now, 
All right, perfect. And we're going to braise the tiller. Tighten it up. Now that tiller is adjustable. You can adjust it to where you need it. It's not adjustable in height, but just the angle of it. We're going to keep unlock that so we can make some movement, some turns. I'll point out why he's also putting together the tires on this unit. It's about eight inches and they're pretty fat. So they're pretty fat across the whip. There's the battery pack going on. And so we put that on, make sure it goes down. So you might want to give it a little bit of a press. So you hear a little bit of a click. Across the tires were about three inches and about eight inches in height. So it's not a rugged scooter, but it is a portable scooter that you can use in a lot of different places. Drop this seat on. Very easy, just going to put it right down and you're good. Again, there's your swivel. And then the last thing we do is put that basket on the front. And again, you can charge this battery pack inside your house the same way you would charge it through the tiller. You just plug your battery charger into this port. Drop the basket right on. This thing is ready to go. Oh, why it's beeping? It's in free will. If you call something's wrong, count that fault code. You can roll this scooter, put that back in drive, turn this thing on, and it's ready to go. Hey, I'm Chris with Mobility Solutions, AffordableMedicalUSA.com, and I have the GoGo -Go Sport three wheel. This also comes in four wheels. This is one of the most popular scooters in the GoGo -Go series. It's gonna have a 325 pound weight capacity, which is a little bit better than the other GoGo's. It will come standard with the bigger batteries. So the battery packs about 30 pounds. Um, up here, you can see just like all the GoGo's, they're pretty simple. You have a key, you have a speed control, you have a battery indicator, you have the wraparound tiller, this is your forward, this is your back, here's a horn, and you can remove these to put mirrors. Also up here on this tiller, you're gonna find your charging port. You can charge directly through here. Now you can also charge it directly through the battery pack if you want to leave this scooter in your car. We're gonna show you that in just a second. The basket is large, the basket comes right off, pull that back. So this is the largest basket in the GoGo -Go family. You also have your light switch right here that operates this light. So it's just got a front light on it. Um, you, can, you can change the shrouds of different colors. This thing is going to come with a swivel seat so the seat can swivel. That is the most important part with a three wheel scooter. If you need, if you're a lot taller person and you need the leg room and you're going to mostly shop in or trying to use this in your house, you're going to like a three wheel over a four wheel. If you're buying this for just outside in your yard, you're probably not going to like a three wheel. Um, but the three wheel gives you more turning radius. And I like how the GoGo -Go Sport has this little bit thicker front wheel than the Elite Traveler or some of the other three wheel scooters you might find. So it's a very nice scooter. You see these all over places, very popular unit. Um, but you don't want to buy this unit if you have balance issue or getting out, you forget to swivel the seat and you put all your weight here to get out. Now it's pretty still, pretty good base, heavy base, a little bit low ground clearance. Um, it'll go through like leveled areas, ground, you know, good well maintained grass. This is where you can charge your unit and I'm gonna show you how this battery pack comes out. Um, if you're going to parks and stuff, this thing's gonna go through it. I kind of undersell stuff because I don't want to over promise something. Um, but getting on and off this unit on a three wheel if you're heavier is very important. Um, especially if you're maxing the weight capacity out on this. Um, so pretty nice unit. Now we're going to show you how this thing comes apart. Again, you can put this in a free wheel to push it if something would fail. That's what this lever is if you're wondering. It's got reflectors at the back. It's easier, better to push with it turned off. These tires are pretty fat on this unit. They're about three inches across and about eight inches in height. 
Um, you can adjust the arms right here out in. Um, they can be also removed if you're packing this up. And this will be your accessory port for an oxygen holder, basket, whatever it might be. Goes right back into here. Um, there's no adjustments with the seats. Pretty much no portable screws have adjustments with the seats. We're going to show you how this comes apart. Scott handles a lot of our accessibility stuff, but he's going to help me with this video. So we're going to take the seat. We're just going to pull it straight up. We're going to remove the battery pack next. We're going to lower the tiller. Okay, we're going to lock it and then we're going to lower the tiller. So loosen that up to where it doesn't grind, bring it down. Don't let it drop or slam. Tighten it back up. Try to make sure you get these grooves good. That looks good. And then you can probably pick this up. It's probably about 60 pounds, but we're going to disassemble the back from the front by pulling that up. Bam. Now it's disassembled. That's going to be about 30 pounds. This is going to be about... Thirty-four pounds, so a little bit lighter than the four wheel, but and it's a very nice unit. Now, put this back together for me, Scotty. Green to green. Loosen the tiller. Now that tiller is adjustable and angle, so you can angle it towards your seat. I'm going to put the battery pack in. When I do that, I'm going to point this out. You can charge this battery pack like this through here with your charger. So you can take this inside your house and leave this in the car if you need it. So if you just need this for shopping, just carry this inside your house. That's about 30 pounds because it has the bigger batteries in it. Then we're going to drop this seat right on there. And this is your Pride GoGo S73, the GoGo Sport by Pride Mobility comes in blue comes in red, um, drop the basket right on. These, these shrouds are interchangeable. Um, if you have any more information, this might, be, might, might, might not be the scooter for you. Give us a call at 803-926-2224 or visit us online at affordablemedicalusa.com.